it's time for another free switch training. Sip trunks. We call them gateways in free switch. Today we will learn why do we need sip trunks and how do we add one to your free switch installation. In the previous video, part 6, we have registered two phones in our free switch and they were able to call each other. But now I want to call my mobile number. Also, I want to publish a number for my customers so that they can call my phones at 1000 or 1001. That is where we need a SIP trunk. We will use Signal Wire trunk for this training because they are the wonderful team behind the free switch and who better than them to support by buying trunks and minutes from them. Also, it's very easy to work with. You just need to create an account and create a SIP endpoint buy a number, route it to the SIP endpoint that we have created, and finally validate your account so that you are able to call international numbers. So here I show you how you can do it in the signal wire. Uh, for SIP endpoint you can go to the SIP and add the new SIP endpoint, it's very straightforward, you just need to add username and password and color ID as the phone number that you have bought. For buying a phone number, you can go to the phone numbers, click new, and then uh, select the phone number that you want and buy it. For routing, after you have bought the number, you can click on the number, click edit settings. You need to select uh, accept incoming calls as voice calls. As you see, we have a voice call and fax and also handle calls using a SIP endpoint. This is a method that we use here. Of course, the other two methods for a free switch is there as well, but this method is very is the general method. So we use the a SIP endpoint and then route it to the uh, SIP endpoint that you have created in the previous steps. Just remember that you cannot call international numbers uh, as uh, you, when you are registering the account, your account is not verified. So you need to submit a utility bill and some information so that they can uh, verify your account. That's uh, to avoid uh, spam calls. In order to do that, you need to go to the actually settings and geographical permission. Uh, I have already verified my account, but it's, it has a very uh, straightforward uh, mechanism. You just need to fill a form and then they will verify your information. And uh, you need to uh, open the international destinations that you want to call. Now it's time for the free switch configuration. Gateways are added in SIP profile. We had created omit SIP profile in the previous video. We just need to amend it and add a gateway tag to point to the gateway folder. And also, we apply, uh, apply inbound ACL tag into our profile. This is for inbound calls, and it will let us uh, accept calls without authentication from any IP that we put in our ACL. So we add two tags here to our default profile that we had created in the previous video. We will tell we want to add our gateways and the gateways will be in the gateway folder in actually etc free switch zip profiles gateway folder and the uh, extension will be xml let's see how we are adding a gateway in the gateway folder i created a file signalwire.xml the syntax is quite easy to understand we put a gateway name we set username and password that this username and password are the ones uh, we created in the signal wire uh, website. Proxy and realm is the address of the uh, SIP endpoints that you have created. We want to register, so the register is true. And when we are receiving a call, we want to send them to a signal wire inbound context. This is a context that we will define a dial plan for it. Also, I want to force all incoming calls go to extension 1000, so if I call uh, the inbound number, it will send to 1000 in signal wire inbound context. We will define context in the uh, later stage. 
Let's see the configuration in our live testing server. I'm going to CD etc free switch zip profiles and uh, let's view our omid.xml. This is the XML, this is the profile that I have created in the previous video, part six. I have added a gateway tag here that in the gateway I point uh, to the gateways folder. So all, everything that I want to put into the gateways folder will be added here. And also I added another tag, uh, apply inbound ACL. This is for uh, incoming calls because we don't want to authenticate in inbound calls from the signal wire. So this is necessary to add. Of course, we need to add the IP address of signal wire in our acl.conf.xml uh, that we will mention in the uh, later stage of this video. Also, if I go to my gateway, I can see uh, the signal wire. It's uh, very uh, easy to understand. We add the username and password, also the address of the uh, account, the SIP endpoints that we have created in the signal wire account. Also, I add a context here signal wire inbound and 1000 as extension. It seems that every call that is coming to my server, it will uh, go to the signal wire inbound context and to the extension 1000. Of course, I need to create this context in my dial plan that we will do later in this uh, video. In order uh, to apply the configuration, you need to log into uh, free switch console and uh, Sophia profile omid restart you need to restart your profile so that it's uh, apply the configuration and after that you, if you want to see what is the status you can just use the sophia status command you can see your gateway uh, it should be registered for inbound calls we need to define an acl and add signal wire ip addresses to the acl this will make a trust to signal wire IP addresses and authentication won't be required for incoming calls. As you can see, here I added the signal wire IP address to my acl.conf.xml in the auto load underlined configs folder. Last step is to tell the system how to send call out to the trunk. Here I define the extension and name it PSTN and then I define the destination number that I want to call and I bridge the channel to the Sophia gateway signal wire. This is the gateway that we have added and I'm adding a plus in front of the number that I'm calling. I just defined this for my own number. You can use the regular expression to call any other number as well. This is uh, done in under, under company A context in the etc free switch dial plan company a.xml. This is the file that I have created in the previous video. Also for incoming calls in the same file, we can create another context and we name it signal wire inbound. And we define an extension 1000. And here, for example, for incoming calls, I just lock uh, who is calling. I answer the channel and I'm playback a file. You can do whatever you want. You can bridge the channel to call uh, your soft phone or for example, play an IVR or different application, you can run it here. Let's see the configuration in our live server. etc free switch auto load configs. Here we have a file acl.conf.xml. As you can see, I have added the uh, IP address of the signal wire. How you can get this IP address, you can just run SNGREP and call the incoming number, you will see the IP address of the incoming call. Let me just uh, call and show you how it works. So if I'm calling, you can see the invite, and here you can see the IP address of the signal wire. They are changing the IP address to, uh, I think they have three IP addresses, so you need to add all three IP addresses here. Next step is the dial plan. So if I go to the dial plan and I open the uh, company A.xml, uh, for outgoing, it's very easy. I just put the destination that I want to call. This is just my number. And I want to bridge the Sophia gateway signal wire and I'm adding a plus in front because this is a uh, signal wire uh, needs this plus when you are calling out. And for incoming call, I created a new context, I name it signal wire inbound, 
and I define the extension 1000. This is this 1000 is the extension that you have defined in the gateway because we force all incoming calls to be in the signal wire inbound uh, context and they send to the extension 1000. Of course, this can be anything. For 1000, what I have done here, I logged, uh, I log in my console who is calling. I answer the channel, I sleep for one second, and then I play back a file. Uh, as I mentioned, you can do whatever you want, bridge a channel, send to a conference, play an IVR, or whatever, what else you want. So now let's uh, try our setup. Uh, in order to apply the configuration, we need to go to FSCLI and reload XML so that it will uh, reload the ACL and the other changes that we had. And now we can uh, use our Zoiper that we have registered to call a number. This is the number that I have defined in the outgoing dial plan. We can go to the FSCLI as well at the same time to see. My phone is ringing right now. I can answer it. Uh, let me just come here. If I answer it, it's answered. And one, two, three. I can talk to the phone and let's hang up. We can see all the logs here as well. Uh, for the incoming calls, let me just uh, put the log level to six so that we have not a lot of debug comment. I'm now calling the PSTN number, the number that I bought from the signal wire. As you can see, as it is calling, my number is calling 1000. And if I put to the speaker, it's playing actually the file that I set in my dial plan. This is for the incoming call. Yes, that's it. This is how we configure trunk, a SIP trunk in the free switch, and how we route outgoing and incoming calls from a SIP trunk. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can put in the comments.